Hello, this is Dave Herman, alias Daz. It is April 3rd, 2017 at 10.50 in the evening. Thanks for tuning in for another daily sketch. Today we're going to do, uh, I'm going to show you the basics of how to draw up a tribal tattoo. I'll do part of a hummingbird for you. We know we only have 10 minutes, but you'll be able to see some of the metrics. If you look to the right here, I've got uh, background layer, gray line layer, black lines, and some fills. Now I would do it myself because I've done art for so long with one layer, but I'm going to show you how to do it with several layers so if you make a screw up you can just eliminate your layer or work on that layer. So to do your doodle, uh, pick out a, a brush. You can see I've picked out uh, one of these brushes over here that's set the shape dynamics to all pressures, uh, pen pressures down these three controls here, transfer, these two controls, smoothing, but we're not going to click on the airbrush because we don't want the fuzzy edge. So we're just going to leave it the way it is and that way it's like an ink pen. And then we're going to work in gray. I'm going to show you how you would make a doodle layer that isn't your final layer. So say you're, you're really don't have a concept for your bird and you're drawing a beak like this so now you can see I'm starting to draw and I don't really have to worry about it being perfect on this layer so much so I'm just you know drawing ahead like I normally would these circles and stuff because on the next layer as I turn it into tribal you'll be able to see that happen you know place an eye in here or something like this shape the head a little bit come back, throw up a wing. We're just going to have part of a wing in this image because we're working on there 10 minutes and you guys know I never set the meter and don't know when I'm going to get cut off. That's the fun of doing this. And uh, nothing staged. There's no time lapses. You get to watch me draw in real time. So there is the beginning. You can see some sweeps here. And now I'm going to come down, like uh, shape the face into the body, come down like that, and then come down to where the tail would be. So now we have this sketch. So we're going to switch layers to black lines, and we're going to change our ink, our color that you select off the palette here in the swatches. Just move your eyedropper over black, click it, and now you're in black. So to turn this into tribal is going to be however you want to break that up into a tribal pattern which is just solid blacks in various shapes they don't have any religious meanings or spiritual meanings or anything like that unless you're doing authentic cultural tattoos but tribal is just another style so we're going to do some breaking up of the face here create some kind of a line work and then i'll show you how i would fill that in electronically so maybe I'm doing an eye like this and a shape here and an extension of the beak like this. And again, I'm not drilling this down to a fine art, every corner and everything matched up, but we wouldn't be able to do it in 10 minutes. So you know that. Everyone who's watched my videos for the last year. Okay. So there's a couple tribal shapes. Now, if you had. Uh, part of this wing and you wanted to fill something in here a tribal shape so you're coming down with these scallop edges you're making kind of a cool looking shoulder like this and you wanted to fill that in solid you connect these lines and then go over to the paint bucket and take the paint bucket snap on that and drop black into that and it fills it right up and this is working out your design without being the finish art so that you can go over and, and uh, ink again, you know. But that's one way of creating from scratch your tribal tattoo. And say you're on, uh, you're filling in with black like this and you, you make an error. Well, turn off your gray for a second. And now you're looking at your straight black. So that, in this case, it's this layer right there. So you can see this here. You can go back and fill these in and then sharpen all this up with an eraser 
If you're on this particular level, you just click your eraser like this. You may not like this line. You can erase it. And you see I'm in a, not a solid opacity. If you take this 37% up here to 100, completely erases. And that's why those black lines look gray, just so we could separate that for the beginning of this illustration. So I'm going to turn back on the gray and the black and everything. Now you can see my underlayment. And I'm going to drill down and do some other line work in black. So you get the idea. So I'm going to be on the black line layer and I'm going to pick black as a paint. Then I'm going to go brush. And then I'm going to put a line in it like that. And you can make and fill it in solid, see on these thin ones, just by, you know, add the value to the line, the thickness and the thinness, and the stroke. But in a large area, you just outline it and then use your paint bucket to fill it. So here's another scallop shape. Like that, and if you wanted to fill that, you would take your paint bucket, just drop it in there like that, and it kind of makes it fun because you can turn your layers off and on and have at it. So let's do a little bit here, and then we're going to fine tune it till my till the meter cuts off. But uh, let's turn off our gray lines. And see that right there. So let's fine tune some of this. You can fill that in like this. You can enlarge and reduce the screen, of course. But if I do that, that takes away a lot of time in the uh, video. So I just kind of do like this. If you want to erase, just switch over to your eraser like that. You can have it any size, just like your brush is. So see how I'm making this point become sharper by erasing. Make sure you're in 100% of your eraser. And just come across like that. If you have this on a layer with black and white, down here you can toggle between that two color palette at the bottom over there on the right of the tool bar and then just use white instead of erasing since it's your background color and just clean them up the edges like so erase this out so if you're in brush and you're using white paint See, it's super clean and super gets rid of those things that are undesired. And it's very basic, but it gives you a way to start. And you can see me working into here, like if I want to go into this area. So when you hold your brush to your tablet one time and go back and forth, that's one continuous tone. The next time you go over it with your brush, it adds to that tone. See, so if it's turned out, to, if it's a gray on the first stroke, then it becomes opaque white on the second. And it can be a meditation, you know, you're just doing this stuff, chilling, taking your time. A lot of times if you're designing flash just to do it, if your guy just wants to post his own flash, then you just take your time and do these things. Right? If you build up sets of flash, you can sell them, which I'll do in my declining years. When my hands and eyes aren't good enough to tattoo anymore, then I'll just sell the art. It's a plan. But you can see how you can fine-tune these 
develop your own style.